it's incredibly exciting. Fracking is really coming to the fore right now as a solution to our national energy needs. And we at Greenlight have made a major breakthrough. We've located a source of sustainable, affordable shale gas that has the potential to dramatically bring down your energy bills in the heart of London. It's hard to believe that this place could be a giant gas plant soon, isn't it? But if there's anyone who can make it happen, it's this government. We've been at the cutting edge of oil and gas exploration for decades. What makes us different, a truly environmentally responsible company, is that we acknowledge, embrace and mitigate the downsides to our work using a radical new tool called biodiversity offsets. Right now, our scientists and financiers are working overtime to calculate the exact natural worth of Regent's Park, then offset its unfortunate loss by acquiring other ecosystems that in total are the equivalent value. That is biodiversity offsetting in a nutshell. That's a blackbird, I believe. Look at this. Look. There's a bee, big bee, big six, bee. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven bees, eleven bees. The downside of biodiversity offsetting might be the destruction of Regent's Park, but the upside is we preserve other wonderful locations. Obviously, each individual site may not be as impressive as the original one. These will grow, you know. But it's the cumulative impact on biodiversity that we're after. We haven't necessarily decided to buy this site yet. I've got to emphasise that none of this would be possible without the government. Indeed, as in so many aspects of the promotion of the private sector, it's the government that's really pushing this forward. As I speak, right behind me, construction companies, development banks, the European Union and the British government are discussing how to make projects like fracking Regent's Park a genuine possibility in the future with the use of biodiversity offsets. You've got to understand, selling off public assets to people that the government went to Eton with is the cornerstone of post-austerity economic policy. Across the whole of Europe, the elite are selling off hospitals, national parks and child protection services to lobbyists who take them to the opera. The amazing thing about biodiversity offsets is that you may lose an irreplaceable public asset like Regent's Park, but at least you get something back. If you ask me, that's really something to celebrate.